Hello guys, we are here in El Salvador and uh, we dropped our, our anchor out there in the bay. Um, if you haven't heard about this place, this is Bahia del Sol. It's a great place, it's a very protected estuary. Um, you probably heard about crossing the bar, which is kind of exciting. the bar we were surfing down I think two waves and uh, put a new speed record on zero 19 knots surfing away <laughs> yeah one nine and uh, but it was all safe we get guided in by the pilot by um, Bill and we are sitting here together with Bill and Jen to talk about it so, thanks for having us here thanks for giving us the chance to put that on our YouTube channel for all the sailors out there Okay, well, we're glad you chose to come to El Salvador. Yeah, it's a great place. We, we did not um, regret any minute so no, far. No, not at all. Yeah. So we're here at your house. You're facing the bay. So tell us a little bit more about Bahia del Sol. Well, the, this is a protected estuary in, uh, in a Ramsar site. It's, it's protected by the government and by some world organization. Environmentally protected. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's around 18 feet. And you can anchor pretty much anywhere safely. In the summertime, we recommend that you stay either in the marina or on a mooring because of the uh, tormentas that we get in the evenings. Yeah. So strong winds in the evenings. Yes. There's, There's no hurricanes. Been... Seldom are there. Oh, really? Never here? Yeah. No. Oh. Uh, it's seldom a tropical storm. I think yeah. we had one a few years ago. It was 20 knots. Oh, it's just barely <laughs> enough to winter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a little breeze. So the only thing here is the current. The yeah. current goes up to, we are trying to estimate that maybe two knots? Yes, two, two to three knots. Two to three knots. On the spring tide, it'll get three knots. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's flushing in and flushing all the time, which is pretty cool. We uh, have coconut, coconuts just yeah, drifting by the boat, by. pick them up and drink them. So it's well, we have people on the shore throwing them in for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good service. <laughs> I was wondering about that. So when we came in here, um, I, we said thank you already, but I want to say that again for all the information you put out there. Your website is elsalvadorrally.com. Elsalvadorrally.com. And if you plan to go here, um, we contacted you guys in advance. You told us when, it's, when the swell is good and when the best time for crossing the bar is. So you, you're offering that service for the cruisers here for how long? For over 10 years. Over 10 years. Do you have any idea how many cruises you um, guided over the bar? I've been over that bar maybe a thousand times. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We were excited by crossing it once. Oh, yeah. That was an adrenaline shot. I get the same amazing. excitement every time. Yeah, yeah. That's good for you. That's good for you. So, any accidents on crossing the bar so oh, far? Oh, we've had, it. we've had a few. Yeah? You know, on, on really uh, boisterous days. You know, you can't, you can't control the swell. I mean, if you get surprise waves, well then, boats yeah. can get into trouble. What does it mean, get into trouble? They, they broach. Mostly it's, it's broaching. Sometimes a wave may come aboard and, and take something off the boat. Yeah. Uh, but there's no total loss. Yes, we had one boat. Quite a few years ago, but it was a small boat that we recommend that they don't come here. They, they were outboard powered, but they came anyway. Okay. And a huge wave overtook them and sunk the boat. Oh, wow. too bad. Yeah. We felt excited, but pretty safe. We were following you in the panga, and you were just saying, now you turn right, left. You were watching the waves. You have a really good eye for that. I'm surfing myself, but I was kind of busy steering the boat. And uh, yeah, you, you did. I a have a driver job. pilot with me as well. Yeah. So, why this place? Why did you choose this place for...? Well, we came here the first time in 2005 and just fell in love right away. 
and we said when we're done cruising, we're going to come back here and retire. And uh, I would say the biggest reason we came here is for the people. The people are very kind. Yeah, that we experienced. It. But the weather and everything else is similar to Hawaii, where we, where we really wanted to live. But they made it too difficult to live on a boat there. But the weather is somewhat similar to Hawaii. Yeah. I've been to Hawaii, and I, I think you're absolutely right. I don't know about the summertime or how it gets it's getting here, but it's it's a very nice climate. Yeah. Actually, in the summertime, it's a little cooler. Oh, really? It's cooler? Because of the rain? Yeah. So you were cruising for how long before? Almost 15 years. Oh yeah, that's good. So you were in San on... Francisco in 1999. Went to Hawaii three times from Mexico, down to Ecuador one time. And then we came here almost every year since 2010. You've been to other places? Did you, did you circumnavigate the globe? or No, just as far as Ecuador. The Eastern Pacific Triangle, we call it. Well, we didn't love cruising. We, every cruiser wants to go someplace. So we decided we were going to go to Chile because you can. We got this far and said, it's getting hotter and it's getting colder the further south you go. So when we went to Ecuador, it's cold. It's on the equator, but it's cold there. And it gets colder the further south you go. So we came back up here. <laughs> it's way nicer up here. <laughs> yeah. So you well. caught your beautiful spot. But it just happens to you. You, yeah. you don't plan it, it just happens. That's good. And when did you start the, um, the service of crossing the bar and uh, doing all the amazing stuff you do here? Well, we started the service in 2010 when we started the cruisers rally, which now we don't do the cruisers rally anymore. But we still provide the, the exact same service is the only difference between the rally and what we have now with, that we call uh, cruisers vacation in El Salvador is that uh, we just don't have uh, uh, set set activities yeah. at certain times. We just want, if people want to do an activity, then we're happy to organize those activities. And yeah. it's the same kind of activities we had during the rally. Except it's whatever the group interest is. Yeah. From what part, what time of the year would you say is the busiest time? I mean, people avoid hurricane season for many reasons. Um, even if there's no hurricanes here, you're still in the hurricane belt, so insurance companies will not cover any damage here during hurricane season. So it depends on the insurance company. Some people, some insurance companies accept accept it here. Yeah, I got it. They say it's hurt. It's it, out of the hurricane zone. Okay. You know, cool. Geographically, it's not, but realistically, it is. But mostly, it is between November, December-ish, up to April, May. You would say the busy season. Yeah. Well, we get busy in October through November when people come back to their boats. You know, they have left it, left them here over the summer, yeah. and then again February through the end of April when boats come here. Right now it's a busy season. It's busy right now, except for the virus. <laughs> <laughs> except they can't come now. Yeah, that's a different story. Bad. Well, we get we get our own little vacation now because we're not very busy. Yeah, that's I just want to say that you don't look busy. You look like you're very relaxed. That's that's good. Well, we're relaxed all the time. So, is there anything you would um, recommend to people out there watching that videos and saying, yeah, I want to go there? Yeah, we come here. It's very tranquil. Like I said, we call it cruiser's vacation. So there's not a lot of worries here. There's no, you don't need dinghy wheels and no surf landings. Um, you can go everywhere. You can go shopping, you can go to restaurants, all in your dinghy. You don't need to get on a bus to do that. Yeah. But if you do get on a bus, uh, it's still in four hours, any direction you're gonna be out of the country. Yeah. So small that you can travel anywhere by bus or, or rent a car. Yeah, we, think, we, we learned that, that the country is very small. When we did our tour, um, we just said, oh, we go from here to here. Oh, that's just 10 miles? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of little towns. Lots of little towns. Each one has something special about them. If you just drive through, you won't discover what's special. But if yeah. you spend a little bit of time there, you find something special. Yeah, a lot of towns are known for certain things. Like Estuma is known for pineapples. And uh, Waiuyu is known for that gastronomic extravaganza. A taco for coffee. Suchitoto for culture. Like the Alabasco for clay, clay items, they have other places for furniture. And there's only one big city that's San Salvador. That is a city. Small. And traffic is, like you said, it's, it's walking. It's horrible. <laughs> yes. 
What part does the hotel Bahia de Sol play in all that game? Well, in it, when we started our rally in 2010, they were the focal point for the rally. All the boats came to the, the hotel. Well, in fact, they still do, because the immigration and uh, uh, port captain is there. And we have always worked with the owner of the hotel to help get boats here. It was we had, In 2009, we had the idea of the rally, we were discussing how to get more boats to come here, not only just over the year, but at one time. Mm -hmm. So uh, we came up with the idea of the rally and started encouraging people to come here in March, April, whenever the, whenever, whenever the rally was. Now we've stopped the rally, but we still work hand in hand with the hotel to schedule people to come here. They've always been our major sponsor. Yeah. They don't really sponsor anything now, but they used to sponsor the, the month of parties and stuff like that. Yeah, they offer their facilities to cruisers. The cruisers club, yes. Cruisers club for I think it's fifteen dollar a week. Yeah, two dollars a day or something. Yeah. yeah. And we felt so welcome after the the adventure going over the bar and then get our uh, welcome drink or welcome cocktail and relaxed a lot after that. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the first time. We felt so good and was so welcome after that. Never, it was never had a welcome cocktail. No. Uh, even before customs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very easy here. We spoil it. Yeah, we really enjoy our time here, and uh, it's kind of sad we have to go. Yeah. But there's other places to ex explore. And we can always come back. The lot next door is for sale. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, our job here is to make Bahia de Sol as comfortable as possible for the cruisers. Yeah, and you're doing a very good job. Thank you very yeah. much for that. And thanks for the interview. Have a great day. Bye bye. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> we should have had cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to El Salvador. You should go here. <laughs>